Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Malachite in Princess of Darkness and last episode we conquered Thessalonica and I forgot how the game works because I kept all of the duchy capitals for myself and then we had too many duchies so I had to give away a bunch of duchies which also gave away the duchy capitals so we are a little bit below our domain limit but Honestly, it's fine. We're still making good money, good prestige, and very good piety, which is great because we have a lot of uses for piety in this uh, campaign, and honestly, right now, not enough uses for prestige, but we are gonna use some very soon. We're also gonna do a um, hybrid culture because we should have done that last episode, but... I said I was going to start looking up stuff and see how it works and stuff, but honestly, I didn't do any of that. I I just figured we should just do it. We're going to form the hybrid culture this episode, definitely. But before we do that, we are going to fight these guys and take this, because I don't know if there's going to be any instabilities or something stupid, just to be on the safe side, but... This war is going to be pretty quick, and then we're just going to make a new culture. Which is going to be great unless... Actually, unless we have to have a certain culture here. No, this doesn't care what culture we have. So, it is absolutely fine. So, before we unpause, we're just going to declare war here. Because he is very hurt. He does still have pretty powerful allies. But, I honestly don't think that's going to matter. Because uh, we're a lot stronger than this guy. We have more champions, uh, I guess they have technically better <laughs> men at arms because we mostly have rats. But we have better champions and we have more, more stuff. So winning a war against him should be pretty easy because I don't think his allies is going to get here before we absolutely just crush his army. And we're going to call in our own allies. And with our allies, their allies shouldn't be a problem. And honestly, since we're calling in these guys, and they're calling in these guys, they're probably just gonna fight over here, and I don't care if they lose. So, let's do a... We should have... Yeah, no, there. Yeah, because we should have the Jur... Uh, the Jur claim on this, because we did take the kingdom last time, right? Because that's how we get that claim. Oh, that's not me. That's me. We all look the same. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have the Kingdom of Thessalonica. So, that's how we get that. I don't know why I had to look it up, because obviously I do have it, but I just wanted to make sure that's why. Don't know why that's important. But, for some reason, I guess it is. But, we're gonna raise all of our stuff. And we're gonna get the Holy Order, because they are of a heretical, or at least... Bad, yeah, hostile religion. So this is going to just replenish or gather, I guess. And that should be fine. Let's see. He's going over here, it seems. I guess that's where he's going. Oh, or is he going over? No, he's going down here. Good. So just stay there. That's going to be... No, stay, you bastard. Oh, you're trying to disembark, are you? Okay, you're not <laughs> gonna get to disembark. You are stuck here with me. Or am I stuck here with you? No, he's dead. Good. I mean, I might not stack wipe him, but he is taking a lot of damage. It would have been nice if we could... Uh, could have taken some prisoners, but... Oh, well. And are you going here or there? Let's keep an eye on yeah he's going to his capital it seems or at least this way which makes sense I mean why would he go over here when he has a capital over here and there we go oh and the Beja Bejaia is here but shouldn't be a problem okay so I guess we can just take these as well I think we win a fight against these yeah we have better knights than that so, we're gonna let these guys run, and then we're gonna absolutely crush these guys. There you go, you're st now you're locked. Suck it! So, uh, oh, we didn't call in... <laughs> That's why they're here. 
Because we didn't call our, call our allies. And although it seems like it might not be needed, but we have plenty of prestige. We might as well, if no other reason than making this go... Whoops. Than making this go much faster. Oh, who are you? Did you get... You got some dang mercenaries, didn't you? You did. Oh, you bastard, but... They're usually extremely weak, because they generally don't have any reasonable fighters. So, we can just basically go and stack wipe them. Because they should be absolutely crushed by our champions. And we get we get the defending in hills advantage here, because they didn't move. I don't know why they didn't. I feel like they should have. Wait, did... One of my guys get wounded, or did their guys get wounded? I didn't read. But we're doing good on war score, and let's just go for their, for their capitals. Actually, no, I don't think they're staying there. No, they're they're continuing to walk, and here are our allies. So this should be pretty quick because we have a lot of mangonels. And where did their allies go? Did they go home? No. Oh, there they are. They just went to went to the shadow realm. But with these, we should siege pretty quickly. And can we just finish this in time? Because this is going to be a fight that we might not necessarily win. Oh well, that's fine. We get to take the capital in the meantime. And actually, is that both of our allies? No, there's some more coming here. And that's mostly just a couple of champions. But it's nice to have. It's never wrong to have... Oh... Oh no. Oh, what the... Sh Who are you? Oh. That's not good. Okay, that's mostly rats at least. Okay, 5,000 of that is rats, I suppose. So... Um, I'm gonna need you to... For these wars as well. That is less good. But luckily most of that was rats. So that's something. So if you could just come back. Because I want to fight these. But I'm not sure I want to fight these on my own. Oh here they are. That's... That's a good start. And they're running. Cowards! Well, we're just gonna siege this. Th no. What the? Trying to sneak past me, eh? You sneaky bugger. Well, we are winning. It's very even, but we get reinforcements and we're fine. So let's go deal with this. They're very low quality at least, so there's that. And as long as we get our people with us, we should be fine. And some of these are have recently disembarked or embarked or landed rather. So yeah, we got this. Good, 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 good. That is a good win. And they're running this way. Huh. Who who's involved? Why is this red? Is it because this is the war goal, I guess? So, let's go deal with this. This is very, very bad though that we're have to, having to fight two wars, but this is basically over. We just need to fight, win this fight, basically. Because that is gonna win this war 100%. And... No? Really? Oh, we maxed out the... The dang, uh, the dang uh, battle scores. Hmm. And they're gonna keep sieging Constantinople. This is incredibly annoying. Oh, you know what? Um, let's split off some people. Uh, we're gonna split off 800 rats. 
and our mangonels. I think that should be enough to take that. And you go and fight that. Hopefully, these guys don't go and try to fight our rat stack. Where are you going? Please stay. Come on. Reinforce. Reinforce. There we go. We just need to win this. Good battle. Now we go back here. Just in case they decide to fight this. Because we need to stop this siege as well. Actually, we're going to win this before they do. So, let's go park over here. We are winning this in 20 days. Eesh, this is rough. But I think we got this. Enforce demands, good. Let's go and stand over. Oh, this, this could be a, a bad for them. Because they're disembarking. Um, you need to go and meet up. And we actually have the right am amount of holdings right now, but we probably have too many duchies. We don't because we don't have that duchy yet, and that is fine. We can just hold on to this for now. And let's see where they decide to land. Because we are getting ticking war score. We have a good amount of battle wins. Oh shit. No. Oh, fucking pause. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was on pause, but they recently landed, so they should still have that debuff for 23 days. We are there in 12 days, so we have a big bonus from that. Just stop trying to walk away, I need you. <laughs> you bastards. But yeah, that is a good win. Okay, we're fine. I I'm gonna say we're fine. I wanna see, like, is there a way to see losses? <laughs> That's something I miss from um, EU4. Because they showed how many people died in the war, and that's always fun. Because I wanna see how many of these bastards I've killed. Because it's a lot now. And what do we get from enforcing? We should... Yeah, we get a pretty good amount of money and some piety. And I think we have a pretty good partic participation, so we should get a bunch of prestige as well. And we get to weaken our enemies, which is excellent, because these guys turns out to be assholes. So, let's see where they... Oh, are they gonna land there? Oh, that is excellent. Stay there, buddy. We're just gonna chase you down, because you should still have disembarked problems. And where people feel mar marginalized, but that's fine. And... You probably just disembarked too. No, you actually lost that by now. You don't. So, you still have it for 17 days. So, these rats are dead. Oh dear, this is a slaughter. Excellent. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. So, we're getting there. We could go and siege something, but should we just do that? We can probably siege this, but then they're just gonna go for Constantinople, probably. Or we can catch them before they disembark again, because they're probably gonna... No, let's... They're gonna go around and go sit on Constantinople again, so let's not. And there's there's the disembark. That's fine. We haven't... No, there's no max on that right now. Good. So we can win this from just fighting battles, which... Wouldn't be bad, because we're still getting the ticking war score. One more battle and we'll likely just have enough to win, at least before they can do anything again. My courtier, courtier Hildeberg has insisted on me on seeing me, even though I have made it known that I would rather be alone, considering I'm fighting a war. My impla in pla pla implacable king. <laughs> uh, it has now been a long while since you last showed yourself in court. We all tried to do our best to maintain appearance in your absence, but 
A Bulgarian court cannot function without the king in attendance. My long absence from, court, from the royal court has left, the le left it leaderless and without purpose. My courtiers are incre increasingly comparing their circumstances to those of prestigious courts like the Kim Kimic one. Uh, yes, we should absolutely hold the court. And we need to... Okay, first we need to win this battle. Then we're going home. So, just reinforce and we'll win this easy, we'll end the war, and then we'll hold court. 100%. Oh shit, we had a bunch of these as well. I completely forgot about that. I even saw it before I started the episode that we had two, so... Okay, first of all, <laughs> we have some stuff to deal with. So, a new face is wandering around my throne room, occasionally giggling and jumping up and down on the spot when she glances upon some artwork representing Greek ways. There is something off about this w visitor, and, wh and when she comes forth, it is evident she is carrying a replica of my favorite sword. I don't have a sword. Please give it to me. And it seems like we met a fangirl. So that's fun. I cannot help but genuflect before you. I have devoted my life in Beale to, ap to appreciating the culture of Greek. I am only speaking in Greek, eat Greek fresh quail, and have studied the blade in the Greek fashion. My family has banned me from our home, claiming that if I cannot do anything but obsess with Kingdom of Bulgaria, I should live there instead. Well, it's flattering, if somewhat violating. Someone this enthusiastic should join our court. Are you any good? No. So we don't care about having you. How dare you cop my sword that I don't have? Take her, take her away. <laughs> no. Uh, let's just be flattered. Deal with it. So, next. In the past few days, neighboring Countess Takui has been visiting my court on her way to some holy site or something. Since her arrival, she has been outshining me with generosity toward my own courtiers. We have all been lapping up her gold with no dignity. I can't help but scoff when I see her surrounded by adoring courtiers for her um umpteenth time. My, my courtiers. A purse for you, good Dorothea, Dorotheus. And some coins for you also, kind Hector Hectorios. Remember, riches are meant to be shared. Oh, you're you're here to like be really annoying, aren't you? Cause you hate me. Oh, because you're you're of an evil evil faith. So uh, I can be more generous. Well, do I even care about these people? No, mortal I don't care about, and some vampire I don't care about. So, I believe Takui has overstayed her welcome. Hey, prestige. We don't really need that necessarily. I should take advantage of her silly generosity too. Um, eh, let's just send her home. Fuck off. I don't want you here. Um, I said her again. Oh, she's... She's being <laughs> generous again. I thought I told her to leave. Fuck off. There we go. And... Right. Disband. Hold court. There we go. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors. Oh, right. Send the first one in. I forget that there's a little flavor thing before we actually start the court. But... My vassal Count Bakhtiar glances down before stepping towards to voice his petition. My liege, I seek your aid in com combating the issues of thieves stealing in Ceres and its people. He pauses to sigh. I cannot fix the problem without resources. I, I have the resources I have. I ask for any aid you can spare. Uh, we're actually saving up a little bit of gold because we have a duchy to give or to create. And we didn't get any specific holdings because I do think we're holding the yeah we're holding the capital of the duchy, but we rather have a duchy than a county. So even though we're giving the duchy away, but we rather have a duke vassal than a holding. I think. Um, so we can give you some gold, but I don't think so. I want to hold on to my money because I love my money. My steward can op offer some of advice, and you get a little bit of stewardship penalty, which... Wait, do I care about you? Well, I don't want to make you too mad, because you are... 
a count and you're a very good champion so hmm let's maybe what do you mean my something would make a better steward so I kind of make her my steward oh we can get rid of this guy for him but now um, let's just it's his fault for being incompetent. Get out of here. My lord, my daughter-in-law, Countess Catherine Montepellier, speaks up. I I propose a cadastral survey all of the counties you own. Improved knowledge and mapping of your land will certainly increase pros prosperity. Um, Catherine Montepellier starts working on the cadastral survey. It will take several months to be completed. Hmm, That's a lot of money, but this might give us a lot of... Uh, a lot of development, which isn't bad, but I also want her to like me because she is currently our steward and she is also a powerful vassal. So I prefer to have her happy with me. Why are you so dang mad? Oh, because you feel marginalized because you are a Toreador. Hmm. Well, aren't you fancy? You fancy ass Toreador. You think you're prettier than me? Huh? Huh? You're not prettier than me. I'm the prettiest. I'm the king. Yeah, Toreador scum. The maps are overrated. Get out of here. My serene Hataria, Arsenio, bows before me. Your trusted axe glinting at his side. His trusty axe. It should be my trusty axe. I have served you faithfully, my liege. You know of my charge against Duke Statoria of Aleppo amidst the mountains of Rodopi. But I am no longer young. I have bid to... In Invest me with my own lands in your kingdom. Other lords have been giving more for far less. Yeah, not bad. But you're bad at other things. I mean, I'll gladly like make you a champion if, if that's something you want. But I th think he already is. Yeah, he's not a guest. He's he is my Hetaria, so not gonna give you shit. Um, no, I don't wanna. I don't want to give him anything. Hello, who has this county? Why can't I? Oh, that's my county. Hell no. Um, you do stress. It's Temple of Servia. Who? You pacha. I don't care about you. You Toreador scum. Not really, but. Yeah, I, I don't think I care about you, so let's uh, let's give you Temple of Servia. That's okay. She's just a wanderous, wandering, treachering, treacherous... Oh, what did it say? Wandering, treacherous craven. Yeah, I don't want you in my in my lands. And we are gonna usurp this duchy. Go away, you bastard. And um, we wanted a new chancellor, was it? Because I know there's a great chancellor in our king, or yeah, our kingdom, but she's someone else's vassal, so I'm gonna swipe her. Is it you? I think it's. No, you're un unlanded. Wait, who are you? Oh, we got a... She's new then. And she is gorgeous. Uh, of course she's a Toreador. Damn Toreador. But yeah, she's a very good diplomat. Who was it I was going to give it to? You? I think it was this lady. Yeah, but she's better. Yeah, I'm going to make you a duke. So you get to be... Um, the Duke of... Oh, what is this called? Uh, Stry Strymon. Yes. So, you get to be a Duke. Good. I don't care if you're mad at me or whatever, but you are an excellent diplomat. Good. And why, why do you hate me? Too many duchies. Leech holds the Jura Duchy. 
Well, that should go away. Right? Because I don't hold the de jure duchy anymore. Or, or do you have some other counties? No, you have that. And... Oh! I didn't give you the, the duchy. That's why. Um, let's see. Duchy of Strimen. There we go. Oh, you got a fancy hat. Good for you. Now you're happy. And we have an excellent diplomat now. So we can bestow favor. Get a bunch of vassal opinion. That's pretty good. Get less prestige, but more other stuff. So who's mad at me? Can't see that. I feel like it should be like red if that vassal hates us. Or everyone loves us. That That's also possible. Because of, of course it is. Everyone loves me. I'm so lovable. What else do we have to do? We. Ha I hate it that they worded it like this. Family members can get married. Although, of all games, in all <laughs> they could have done. I guess that is a way to phrase it because in this game family members can get married but it just sounds like they're saying oh hey you could marry your siblings together if you want <laughs> but you need a marriage but we still don't have anyone to marry off to, marry you off to because either we're actually you're new and we made you a duke so yeah you alliance please i don't care if it's if you're vastly uh, inferior that is uh, that is more champions and we've had a big old yeah sure we've had a big old lack of uh, marriages lately and we can work up some stress let's go another lap excellent so we also have a skill point. So, hostile scheme power. Excellent. We're getting better and better at this. And now we are... Actually, this is... Yeah, this is... Well, I'm going to say this is done, so... Wait, how is this not filled up? This is 3%. Oh, bureaucratic and Eastern Roman legacy and all that stuff. But we don't have anything interesting to do here, except for low control in Thess Thessalia. So we're gonna send you to to fix that. Which one is it? Wait, which one is the actual... There it is. There we go. That's what we need control in. Good. Now we are forming... A hybrid culture with the Bulgarian. So we're Bulgarian Greek. What? I want to change this. I want to have the ladies help too. Because, well, that doubles our pool. But I guess not. Who's not going to convert? You, my grandson. Why are you so mad? You want to sit on the table? Hmm, you're not. Oh, it's mostly rats. It's always the rats, but you're terrible, so feck off. It's fine. You don't need to be the same, same, uh, same uh, culture because, well, we we're still gonna be the other cultures. We're just a little, what you call it? We're just a hybrid of them, and I still think. These are the ways to go because I don't like this one. Well, the champion pursuit efficiency, efficiency, efficiency is pretty good. Counter is fine, but we have mostly skirmishers because the rats are skirmishers. So these are bad for us. Stand and fight gives bonuses to other stuff. But... The rest doesn't really matter. We can't turn that off, but... Could get some heavy infantry. Because now they're better. What did do we have? I know we have something like that. No, we have archers. Right. So we only have skirmishers, basically. We should get some heavy... Heavy people, maybe. We'll see. 
This one is law cost penalty from realm size. The just trade is more common. The just trade has additional bonuses. Yeah, that's pretty good. Less turn negate, but that's not bad. Vassal limit plus 30. Hmm. Retreat losses. Oh, that's pretty good. Don't like the negative uh, champion advantage, but... Retreat losses and French friendly fatal casualties is pretty good. And these other ones are basically just good. There's so many dang... Um, then what you might call it? M militaristic ones. I want like diplomatic and spycraft stuff, but that's fine. Aesthetic. Okay, we can change Eastern European, but that's fine. So, naming practices. Yeah, we can have both, that's fine. Architecture is fine. Byzantine is fine. Oh, these changed. These were way cooler last time. But I guess, I guess this is just examples. But yeah, let's go for both. For hybrid culture. There we go. Don't know what it does. Never done this before. Except like, we can, oh, we can, uh, oh, we can put it. Oh shit, that is expensive. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, so we can still change some of these. But it's going to be expensive as shit. So. Spurred on by positive relations and increased culture, cultural exchange, uh, the Greek and Bulgarian people have grown increasingly close over the years. Now individuals from these societies have begun to view themselves as not as one or the other, but both simultaneously. A new Bulgarian greek culture, a Greek traditions and values from the backbone of this new culture, while various Bulgarian attributes have been adapted and integrated to meet the needs of the, of the new society. With the Bulgaro greek people now looking to, to me for guidance, it is time to set the stage for our shared future. To a new age, a new era, a new people. Hey. So, let's have a look at our culture. Um, there we go. Cultures. Yeah, so it's... It's not strictly Bulgarian and Greek, I guess. It's... I guess we have acceptance of both. No, uh, that's not how we go out of map modes. And where are you so mad? You want to see it on the table too, don't... I guess you don't have one. Oh, that's fine. Do we have anyone better than you? Hey, we do! But, you know, right. We're already on places, but those are better. They're better though. But, I think I'd rather have... That's fine, we'll just... Oh, you're still on support schemes? Let's disrupt schemes, because I don't want to get murdered. And you can start... Wait, what? k What kind of religion is that? Okay. Is this part of Thessalonica? Should be, right? Yeah, so we have a claim on that. All right, of course it is. We, we have the kingdom and all we need for the dream again is that we control all of Thessalonica, but I mean, we're gonna do that from our de jure stuff by just conquering everything, so that's fine. We don't have to fabricate anything except on Venice, which, which we'll do eventually. We're in no rush, because we also need shit ton of more realm size. Okay, we're gonna have to like do some sweeping, sweeping, uh, Whatchamacallit? Conquering. Like this. And how many years until we can do this? I guess. How about just duchies? So we're gonna start conquering this eventually and I guess around here as well. We just need to take big chunks because we need a realm size of 50. So let's just let the time pass for a little bit now though. Oh right. We should learn the language. Wait, Greek linguist? We already know Greek. Yeah. Oh, we do know Slavonic. We learned Slavonic from doing that, I guess. Um, 
but we already do. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if we do this. Uh, we can just go for the cheap ones because we're actually pretty good at learning languages thanks to the trait we have. And God, you're ugly. Um, I kind of want to see if we have any good innocence. Any good spy? Oh, we do have someone good as, who we can use as a spy master. How would you like to be a vampire? Why can't I do this? Where are you? Oh, you're. No, oh, you're. You're you're in my lands. Why can't I? Hmm. I guess. I guess it's not at my court, but I figured I can do it within my my boundaries. Fine, bastards. Oh, that shouldn't be what? <laughs> Should be innocent. Oh, wait. Ah, I just click stuff sometimes. Oh, it's you. Can I? Nah, okay. So, garbage people. Well. Okay, how about prowess? Hey, you're all... No. You're a ghoul. <laughs> That's why. Hmm. Okay, let's find some mortals then. Find mortals. We want warriors. I want some... People with prowess, so we can make good babies. Two, one. Okay. okay, come on. How are these warriors? I know they have traits, but come on. Oh, whoops. Um, no, that there's. There I am. Is this? Yeah. Okay. So we can do this in two months. So I guess hunt you, herdify you. That's fine. And we're gonna try again. What the? Bastard! To my liege, the rightful rule of Bulgaria be belongs to court chaplain. Why are, why are you mad? You have... How? What? Oh, you're not Domitian. You just want someone else on the... Th I guess I haven't been paying attention to my uh, my what you might call it my factions. So no, feck off. Oh, let's not. Oh, we got a a uh, famous guy finally, and he is a good marshal. That is excellent. The Byzantine Empire, while having a Recovered a little from the Fourth Crusade, it is still in turmoil. Attacked by the Second Bulgarian Empire, Serbia and the Ang Angevins of Naples, and the despot dis despots of Epirus, its survival is mostly thanks to one Michael Tar Tarkanioitis Glabus. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to learn how to say that because he's gonna be a child. Um... Gabus has been successful general for most almost 40 years. Even the occasional setback or defeat only strengthened his skill, and few can boast to have a tr uh, have truly won a war against him. Now an elderly man, Glabus and his writings uh, writing a war manual to pass on his valuable experience. But as a creature of the night, you have another possibility, one that would give the, uh, the give you the man himself and not just a book. Bring him in. Oh, and... Okay, I made him a champion, I guess. But no, embrace the, the bastard. And... Oh, you're... You decided to set up ch shop over there. Okay, let's... Oh, we can't do that because this is... This is the rebelling people. Raise everyone and you don't happen to be... No. You don't happen to be a uh, another religion, but of course not. I just had to check, just in case. What? Oh! Right, because I married you off to him, I guess. A competitor. 
Who the shit are you? Archbishop Nikita of Sredet's Herald of Cain. See of Nod. Okay. Um, you are weak as shit, so... Oh, I'm not gonna kill him. This model is mine. I don't care if you're my rival. And of course I shall join. Good. People are joining. Excellent. Excellent. I don't think it's gonna be entirely necessary. Because, uh, well... These guys are not as strong as us. Guarantee it. And what the hell is a hymnologist? The sh I guess he is good at making hymns? Okay, so... What? Come on. I just want to kill them. Who the hell are you? Pretend they're rebels. Okay. Come on, kill him and speed this up. I can't sit and watch, watch us chase him every little step, every step you take. Oh, and here comes our first ally. Good. So there we we seem to be catching up to them right there. Good. No. Okay. How about over there? There we go. And we have all of our allies with us now. Excellent. So, let's just win that war, uh, not war, that battle, and um, I realized this, this is a long wi video now, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe, and next time we're gonna finish this war. Thanks for watching, bye bye.